cheats the rascal prince. What sin it is to break their faith with us. <laughs> and grieve not, friends, for Burgundy to revolt. What did he fail us? York and Somerset, true English gentlemen, will fill his place. Go to the walls of half drop it up. Summon their general from Farth and Sidney. King of England. Now I yield him homage as obedient subjects, and I'll withdraw me and my bloody power. But if you frown upon this proffered peace, you tempt the fury of my three attendants. Lean famine, quartering steel, and climbing fire. Who in a moment, even with the earth, shall lay your stately and air-braving towers? Thou ominous and fearful owl of death. Our nation's terror and their bloody scourge. The period of thy tyranny approaches. I protest we are well fortified. If you retire, the dauphin, well appointed, stands with the snares of war to tangle thee. Either handy there are squadrons pitched to war thee from the liberty of flight. Now death doth front thee with apparent spoil. Lo, there thou stands, the breathing valiant man, of an invincible, unconquered spirit. Yet ere the glass that now begins to run finish the process of his sandy hour, these eyes that see thee now, well, color red, shall see thee withered, bloody, pale, and dead. Hark, hark the dauphin's drum. A warning bell sings heavy music to thy timorous soul, and mine shall ring thy dire departure out. He fables not, I hear the enemy. Help some light horsemen and peruse their wing. Oh. Now are we parked and bounded in a pale, a little herd of England's timorous deer, mazed with a yelping kennel of French curs. If we be English deer, be then in blood, not rascal like to fall down with a pinch. But rather moody, mad, and desperate stags turn on the bloody hounds with heads of steel. <laughs> Sell every man his life as dear as mine, and they shall find dear, dear of us, my friends. God and St. George, England and Talbot's right, prosper our colors in this dangerous fight. Are not the speedy scouts returned again that dog the mighty army of the Dauphin? They are returned, my lord. And give it out that he is marched to half flow with his power to fight with Talbot. A plague upon that blonde Somerset. Who thus delays my promised supply of horses that were levied for this siege. Renowned Talbot doth expect my aid, and I am routed by a traitor villain. Thou princely leader of the English strength, spur to the rescue of the noble Talbot. To half flow, warlike duke, to half flow, York. Else farewell, Talbot, France, and England's honor. I cannot help him. Horses do I lack which Somerset did promise to supply. Then God take mercy on brave Talbot's soul. And on his son, young John, who two hours since I met him travel toward his warlike father. This seven years since did not Talbot see his son. And now they meet when both their lives are done. Away, vexation almost stops my breath. Exeter, farewell. No more my fortunes can but curse the cause. I cannot aid the man. Maine, Blois, Poitiers, and Tours are one away. Long all of Somerset and his delay. It is too late. I cannot send him aid. This expedition was by York and Torbert too rashly plotted. The overdaring Torbert has sullied all his gloss of former honor by this unheedful, desperate, wild adventure. My lord. York set him on to fight. And die in shame. The Torbert dead, great York might bear the name. Oh, now, good Exeter, whither were you, sir? Whither, my lord, a bought and sold Lord Talbot, who ringed about with bold adversity, cries out for noble York and Somerset. Let not your private discord keep you hence. York set him on. York should have sent him aid. And York, as fast upon his grace, exclaimed, swearing he withheld his levied host collected for this expedition. Well, York lies! He might have sent and had the horse. I owe little duty and less love. And take foul scorn to fallen if I said the fraud of England. 
Not the force of France hath now entrapped the noble-minded Talbot. Never to England shall he bear his life, but dies betrayed to fortune by your strife. Come, go, I will dispatch the horses straight. Within six hours they will be at his aid. Too late comes rescue. He is tame, though slain. If he be dead, the brave Talbot then adieu. His fame lives in the world. Shame in you. Plantagenet hath with Talbot broke his word and left us to the rage of Francis' sword. Might be in thee revived. But thou art come unto a feast of death, a terrible and unavoided danger. The Dukes of York and Somerset have failed me. Therefore, dear boy, mount on my swiftest horse and fly thee hence. Come, dally not. Be gone. Is my name Talbot, and am I your son, and shall I fly? Oh, if you love my mother, dishonor not her honorable name to make a bastard and a slave of me. Upon my blessing, I command thee, go. To fight, I will, but not to fly the foe. No more can I be severed from your sight than can yourself yourself in twain divide. Before young Talbot from old Talbot fly, the coward horse that bears me fall and die. Then here I take my leave of thee, fair son, born to eclipse thy life this afternoon. And I'll follow thou thy desperate sire of Crete, thou Icarus. Thy life to me is sweet. If thou wilt fight, fight by thy father's side, and come and approve, let's die in pride. Fight, soldiers! Fight! Sojourn and victory! 